Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Arma Hobby and we have here the kit in 148 scale, it's a Hurricane Mark II C, uh, so called Jubilee and you also can see here the small sign that we have the 3D printed parts included so it might be a handy upgrade for a 148 scale kit and of course we have a commercial sample of this release so this set number 40006 is the final shape of this kit and you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so that's why it is interesting to see what is actually supplied inside so first of all i have to note the nice box art here and again the small reminder that this is a 148 scale kit we also have here the sign that arma hobby celebrates 10 years anniversary quite <laughs> i would say quickly this anniversary came to us and here we also have some information about the kit so it's written that we have here the plastic parts we have 3d printed parts we have decals for three markings and we also have the masks as you can notice there are no pe parts included so in case you would like to have one you will have to get some aftermarket but we will talk about it a bit later here on the opposite side you can see also the safety advices and address of the manufacturer this is a side opening box so it should be quite easy and quick to open and as you can see inside we have the a cardboard box and I probably will do it off the camera of the table because it was a bit of a tight fitment but this cardboard box actually protects everything from the possible damage and I'm just going to open this take out the plastic bag as you can see it's a receivable plastic bag we have here all the necessary parts and let's open it and take a closer look together in order to see what is actually supplied here and why this kit might be a good option for mothers who would like to build a hurricane in 148 scale. So first of all we have here the wing parts and you can notice that the wing parts uh, their design is quite traditional I would say for such type of kit so we have three parts but we have the wing mechanization which is pre-molded so in case you would like to have them in a dropped position you have to do it with your own hands and tools and this is kind of strange for a 148 scale release and by the way I was wrong about the segmentation so here we have also the single piece part with uh, really nice uh, surface details so if I zoom in here you can see that we have uh, recess panel lines and rivets and everything looks fine for 148 scale it's a must-have and they are quite prominent on this kit so it will be really difficult to get rid of those in case you overdo the layers of the primer and paint do not worry it should be fine still with this amount of features and here on the opposite side we have also some strengthening features as well as some details for the main wheel wells but this I guess will be also uh, let's say accompanied with some uh, separate parts which are molded on the sprues. So next we continue with the clear plastic bag with the transparent sprue. So here we have the canopy parts and I will just zoom in so that you can see what we will be talking about here. Those canopy parts they were quite nice even in the initial release they were really great and uh, because we have the masks included here so you shouldn't be worried about any possible painting process problems. The only thing required from you is to apply those stickers on the clear parts and that would be pretty much all. And again the overall quality looks great so there is nothing to be complaining about and I think it's really cool that uh, Arma actually includes the masks in the original uh, package so you don't have to buy them separately next we have something what I'm not sure why it is supplied just like that and I do not see the necessary differences either so just give me a second I'm trying to compare them but what I'm talking about here is these two pilot seats as you can see they are nicely printed and we have also the seat belts pre-printed let's say so you won't be able to have a variety here but for some others it might be actually a good choice because it will help them to uh, paint those parts and uh, have them in a bit more convincing position but overall I'm rather surprised that we have well I received uh, two seats instead of one 
So I hope that uh, next parts will be in the right amount, not in a reduced amount due to the extra pilot seat. Why I'm saying so? Because here we also have the exhaust stacks. So these ones will be handy for uh, fine features on your aircraft. And there are actually several types of these exhaust stacks. So this is the first one you can see on the table, but there is also the second one which is made in a gray color. And here it is. So overall, these parts will be definitely useful for some fine features on the aircraft and uh, considering the size of the exhaust on the Hurricane, I think it's a really good upgrade to have out of the box, especially considering that you don't have to pay anything extra for this. But that's not all, we have one more upgrade here. It's also 3D printed as far as I can see, but those are machine gun barrels. So here you can see them in a bit closer way. And um, do not be, let's say, scared of this tan plastic. It's easy to paint over it. But the only thing you should remember that those parts require the CA glue in order to be installed into the place. You won't be able to install them with a normal plastic glue, just like some other modelers tried to do. Okay, next we continue with the uh, gray plastic sprue. Maybe I will not zoom out for some time because I would like to show you the external features on the tire walls. So even though those landing gear wheels, they will be assembled out of two house, we still have a nice tire features out of the box. So maybe for some modelers it will be more than enough. For those modelers who would like to have more, I think Edward already produces the brassing upgrade. Here you can also see some of the cockpit parts. As you remember the pilot seat here and exhaust stacks, they will not be used because we have a bit better upgrade from the manufacturer itself. And here you can take the overall look, note also this tail section, and if I flip it over, here you can check these parts from the opposite side, so where it's necessary we have the guiding element, so it won't be difficult to align these parts, but still it will be important to pay attention so that you get the right treatment, and the final result would look nice. Next we have the third and the final plastic sprue. I'm a bit surprised by the weight of the sprue, it's quite hefty and I really doubt that the parts actually making the weight of this, it's the frame itself. Nevertheless, here we have the fuselage, we also have the separate air intake parts, the propeller hubs, the propeller itself, fuel tanks and also some bombs here. So everything looks quite nice. Obviously this um, parts design without the tail fin was used in order to replicate different versions and if I zoom in here you can see that the fabric surface is replicated in a quite nice manner so it's a matter of painting it properly, maybe accentuating all of these features with help of the uh, pre-shading. And here you can also see some of the internal features as well. So in the cockpit we also get some stuff. But as you saw on the previous sprue we have the cockpit walls molded separately. Next we continue with um, decals. So here I need to take them out of the assembly manual, so just give me a moment. And there are also the masks uh, which are pre-cut. So let's first zoom in. I will show you masks. Here they are. So as I said, they are pre-cut. They are ready to be used straight out of the box. We have the masks also for the landing gear wheels. So really cool upgrade which will come handy for the fine paint work. And next we continue with the decals which are printed in tech mod. So here are the R. We have here all the necessary symbols for several marking options. What I'm not sure about is why we have here the seat belt decals. As you can see, they are included in the standard uh, set. But we also have the decals for the instrument panel, which is really good. For some others, it will be more than enough, especially considering the amount of features which are provided on the original instrument panel. Next, we continue with the assembly manual. So here I will close the lenses and zoom out a bit. So this is a typical Arma Hobby brochure. We have short history node and parts map here and also the paints chart in several manufacturer designations. Next, we continue with the uh, note on choosing the loadout for your aircraft. So here you can see you can pick between the fuel tank and the bomb and it will define how you will arrange the attachment points on the wing. It should be done obviously in advance because later you won't be able to do the, this. Next we continue with the 
pilot seat and again I am a bit confused because here we have the pilot seat being assembled out of plastic parts and there is no mention about the resin part so I guess you just have to use it instead of the original plastic kit. Uh, quite an interesting, I would say, inclusion of the extras. Here we continue with the cockpit poles, next we continue with the control stick and also some fine features in the uh, main landing gear wheel wells. Here you can see the instrument panel being installed into one of the fuselage halves and then we just join the fuselage halves together and then put them onto the wing. So as you remember the wing was also serving as a cockpit floor so that's why we have such sequence. Next we continue with the tail surfaces. I'm just checking whether I missed one of the pages but yes we continue with the tail surfaces and landing gear parts and next here we have uh, machine gun barrels being installed. So as you can see you can use the 3D parts. Next we continue with antennas, uh, canopy here you can choose whether you would like to have open or closed version. So as you remember a few tanks or bombs and that's pretty much all. Here we have two marking guides for first two marking options and here is the third one in a pretty much the same layout and we also have the QR code for even more information about this uh, marking option. So the kit itself should be already available, you can get it on official Arma Hobby website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.